I asked the computer to generate a game between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Kamala starts as white because she has first mover advantage as vice president. And as a powerful leader, she goes for the queen's gambit. Now Trump, as a person who doesn't back down, accepts the gambit. Now Kamala does this very, very interesting book move right here. Another way that people play the queen's gambit is here. So this is one variation, it's called the central variation according to the computer. Another way is this is the classical variation, the old variation as they call it. But Kamala does this. So now Trump develops a knight and then now Kamala Harris supports this pawn. Now if you look here, you can always get your pawn back. So you don't have to take immediately knowing that that moves always available. Now, if you try to cling on to your pawn, this is going to ask for a lot of trouble. There's a lot of traps you could do. So you do not want to make that move, but Trump is too smart to make that move. Let's see how Trump responds. Trump develops this Bishop right here. And it's also potentially to fight for this square. We will see. Now, finally, Kamala decides to retake the pawn. So now, material-wise, they're even. The computer has a slight advantage for a white, but really, it's pretty even. Now, Trump being a player who doesn't back down, attacking with the pawn here, being supported right here by the bishop. So now, Kamala, king safety, very important. Trump decides to do this, probably in preparation for this, right, to kick the bishop. We'll see what happens. Now, this is a really interesting move that Kamala does off the back rank, maybe to support this bishop. There's other potential tactical moves, like maybe there's this. Maybe you're planning some kind of knight move for your queen to come out. Trump, like I predicted, decides to attack the bishop. Kamala moves the bishop back. Trump decides to get bishop on this diagonal. So now Kamala, in a very good move, decides to x-ray and also moves rook into a more active square because as we see this is now a semi-open file so trump decides to move the knight here it's a knight support but also now the queen can move out of the way so now another developing move by kamala kamala is playing very 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 positional trump is being a little bit more aggressive but as of now look at the score they are pretty much even so Trump has this queen move right here, probably planning attacks along this diagonal. So now Kamala takes more of the center. Now Trump, like I predicted, attacks. Kamala now develops her bishop along this diagonal. Notice that this x-rays the king. So this was attacking move by Kamala, attacking the knight. However, Trump unfazed decides to take the knight. And now look at this. After this exchange, Trump is up in exchange for a minor piece. So this was a good move. And now Trump can actually even recapture that. So now Kamala threatens the queen. Instead of being intimidated, Trump decides to pin this knight. Because if the knight moves, look what is vulnerable. Kamala decides to protect the knight. And now Trump finally castles to get another rook into the game potentially. Now there's a little bishop move here by Kamala. And now Trump decides to occupy this very, very open file. So Kamala challenges Trump for the open file. But notice that because Kamala is slightly down in material, Kamala only has one rook compared to Donald Trump's two rooks. So now this is an attack on the knight potentially. Very interesting attack on the rook. But now Trump can just exchange. And still Trump's ahead a rook. Trump even goes to take the knight and exchange the knights. So now, after this, Trump is still ahead, but now Trump can recapture the pawn. So now Trump's ahead four points. Now Kamala makes this move. According to the engine, this was the best move. According to the computer, that actually should have been the best move. Get another attacking piece into an open file. According to the computer, this is how Kamala should have played. Because since you know he's going to come check, you want to get your king into a safe square and then be down a little bit of material, but you could potentially still draw this, although there are no draws in the election. Actually, there are, but it's complicated. Congress then has to vote 
But that's not what happens. Instead, Kamala threatens the queen. And so the queen goes back, even though according to the computer, queen should have gone here because this essentially counterattacks the bishop here. So now Kamala continues the pressure on Trump's queen. And now Trump pins the bishop. But now the bishop is unpinned. And now finally Trump gets his final rook into the action. Interposing this bishop to prevent the rook from coming down. And now Trump moves the queen to another diagonal. Potentially to come down here to check. This was not the best move. Should have attacked from this side according to the computer. But that being said, Kamala does counter threat the queen. So now Trump has a queen rook battery. And it's not looking good for Kamala. So Kamala again tries to attack. But now Trump can just move the queen aside. And now this was an inaccurate move according to the computer. And now it's mate in six. And seeing this, we ended here. Trump very likely has this in the bag again. Looking at the pieces, Trump has a queen, a rook, and a bishop versus just a queen and two bishops, according to Kamala. So this is very likely a Trump victory. What do you guys think? Do you think the AI generated a worthy game between these two? Do you think there's anything in their chess play that is wrong, according to your understanding of either Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? Let us know in the comments, who do you think would win an actual chess game? Do you want more simulations of a chess game between these two? Who are you voting for? Actually, let's not get political. This is a chess channel. So don't tell us who you're voting for. Just go vote, please. Go vote. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching.